Hey YouTube! Okay, look guys, so um, I really want to send my students home with, you know, something for their families to kind of remember 2022 holiday season being in kindergarten. So um, I ordered these little ornaments and they come apart into pieces, but I ordered 20 of them off of Amazon for like less than 50, not 50, oh my gosh, less than $15. And so basically they look like this. And so I also ordered this pack of ribbon so i have a different ribbon for every student and literally look how cute these are and i think these were like seven dollars you get about 18 of them so yeah um what i'm gonna do is while they are on their chromebook line them up one by one letting them pick a ribbon and then going to measure their height with the ribbon and so once i cut off the ribbon and measure their height I'm going to put it inside of here and I think I'm going to type up like a cute little piece of paper that says every year around you know the holiday season open me up and then see how much I or see how much you've grown since kindergarten so I think that's really cute and something that the uh, parents and the family can hold on to for ever really um, so I'm going to be doing that today. I'm going to put the ribbon inside here. I'm going to put the little note inside here. I think I'm going to write their name with like a, um, oh, I have a black Sharpie, but I also have a whole pack of like different colored Sharpies. So I think I'm going to do like greens. You know what? No, not greens and reds because some of these don't have green or red. So I think I'm going to use like blue and green and red. What other colors? And maybe gray. I don't know there's gingerbread here too so i'll use it i'll be using different colors to write their names across um the year and yeah so and then i'm going to put their ribbon on the top as well these are going to be so cute i'm so excited i um i have 19 students and i have a pack of 20 so i think i'm going to save the last one for scarlet and take scarlet's height and just put her name in the year i think that'll be so cute so i'll put these together during like lunch or something or after school i'm not going to do that while they're here just taking their height um and yeah that's about it so uh, stay tuned hi guys okay so while you enjoy this beautiful time lapse of me taking my students height and then also while decorating the holiday gifts i wanted to talk about maternity leave so a lot of people are just assuming that i'm just gonna leave them halfway through the year and be like bye i'm gonna go have a baby and not come back and that is not the case that is not how this works um you can't just up and leave children like <laughs> it just doesn't work like that so first of all I'm only halfway through my pregnancy and I'm not having a baby right now and we're halfway through the year so therefore I will not be ditching my kids halfway through the year um our school year is not over until like May 22nd I believe and my due date is May 3rd so if you do the math that's about three weeks in between give or take and so probably I'll go on maternity leave like the last week of April maybe the last two weeks that's like pushing it but um guys I'm not just gonna ditch my kids like I have created really really strong relationships with them and they have the same with me and if I just up and leave it's gonna be so detrimental to their hearts it's like like ripping a family member away from a child and that's definitely not what you want to do <laughs> so um and I also want them to remember like Mrs. James is here for you like whether I'm in the class or not like I'm always here for you so probably um yeah, go on maternity leave like a week before May since I'm due like the third day of May, which I think I might go overdue. It just depends. You never know. Pregnancy is so unpredictable. Anything can happen at any given moment. Um, and so like I don't just plan on ending my year there though. Like I probably won't go back to work because of course I deserve my six weeks of maternity leave, which um, that's going to follow me through to the summer. And so then following my six weeks I'll be able to have my three months off which I'll be able to have about four months with my newborn baby and it'll be so nice adjusting to that but um on the other hand um I do plan on coming back before the school year is over because I want to give them a proper goodbye and I want to be there for their graduation and I want them to meet Jade because they are literally following me they're with me throughout my entire journey and this is like a big deal it's it's almost like they're meeting a family member, like a cousin or a sibling, you know? And that's how they do refer to her as their little sister. It's really cute. Um, but yeah, guys, I can't just get up and leave them. Be like, I've created relationships with them that are so strong. And 
it's actually so crazy thinking about it. Like, I have 19 students, and creating a different relationship with every child at the same time is like, oh my god, how do you even do that? Like, how is that even possible? But you do it, and over time, you have different experiences, and different situations turn into different conversations with each child, and so you learn ways to accommodate them and so like each child has to be approached differently obviously has to be talked to in a different tone so that they can understand and process certain things you're saying so it's not just like I'm always teaching one whole class I like to see it as I'm teaching like each individual student but at the same time because you really have to know your kids for them to learn and understand what you're saying and teaching them side note these holiday gifts are not only for trees they could be hung on doors okay guys so here is the result here i wrote their name on one side and the year on the other and then the little paper that i put on the inside says open this ornament every year around the holidays to see how much you've grown since kindergarten 2022 oh i should definitely show you guys like um some of the holiday decor i have so these snowflakes are actually like from last like almost two years ago my baby shower in january of 2021 so it's about to be january 22 oh my god two years ago um it was winter wonderland themed for my daughter so it was like a big winter wonderland so these are the leftover snowflakes that i still have and then we made some christmas trees with our names on it and i taught them how to draw like um lights and ornaments and all that cute stuff they made some snowman using water paint so here they are we still have some fall stuff left over i really hope the parents love these ornaments because guys it took me like a really long time to get these ornaments done and look i honestly was nervous that i wasn't gonna have enough ribbon these are the ribbons that my students were like eh we don't like them which i can understand these two because they're just like green and red and plain but like look how cute this sparkly silver one is nobody chose this one and I actually hope they keep them. I hope they don't just like lose them and throw them away because the whole point behind them is to be able to go back and see how much you've grown since kindergarten, you know? Mm. Anyways, bye guys.